With PIM, it is easy to work with product information in a single system across all of your different customer channels. The basic user activities in PIM includes finding, enriching, merchandising and publishing products. Let's take a look at how this works in InRiver PIM. Logging into InRiver, you are greeted by the dashboard. Here at the top, you can see the different apps of InRiver. Enrich, product details, which we will see in a bit, plan and release for catalog structures, syndicate for data distribution, and here on the more, you can see additional apps, which could be from InRiver, the partner marketplace, or you can add custom developed apps as well. Here we have jobs, search, help portal, tasks, and your profile. InRiver is a configurable and flexible system and finding the right match of support for your business is done together with InRiver or a solution partner. In this video, we are using the InRiver demo environment, which comes with preloaded uh, data and a data model that shows how the system functions. On the dashboard, you see various metrics and useful widgets, like start entities, KPIs, and channel insights. This dashboard, like most of what we see in this video, can be configured and personalized. Going to Enrich will allow us to see and enrich products. Here we have start entities, work areas, and tasks and notifications. Work areas are where you typically do your work. They can be personal or shared with your colleagues, and most often they are based on a search query. Let's try and go to assortments and open up the work area for jackets. This will show us all of the jacket products in a grid view. And here we can also switch to a list view. Clicking Edit Curie will allow me to see and change the selection criteria for the work area. Here I can see that we are looking at data entities of the type product with the category jacket. To drill down further, let me also add the subcategory blazers. Notice that I'm only presented with the subcategories that are relevant in the context of jackets. Editing queries for work areas may look advanced as at first, uh, but this is a reflection of the elastic data model in InRiver. The elastic nature of the data model allows you to create your own best practice PIM. From the work area, let's try and go into the slim fit jacket. See the details and different colors available. On the product page, we have access to the current work area on the left, making it easy to go through uh, many products. On the product page, we have various buttons and tabs. And for this video, let's try and go into details. Here we see the data attributes of the product, the product number, the name, industry, and the category and subcategory, which we used to search uh, just now in the work area. Here under material, we can add wool, and let's go ahead and save the product. In the top right corner, we have the completeness of the product. Here we can see what data is needed to make the product complete. Going to Includes will show us all the related data entities. This includes items with SKUs, with the barcode icon, but we can also have relations set up to many other entity types, other products for upselling and resource images. Let's try and go to the item level and look at the color variation black. Here we see that the data specific to the variation includes the SKU, color, size and season. This data entity represents the item that can be purchased on a web shop. This was a brief look at how to navigate the product hierarchy, enriching and validating products, making them ready to be published. Using a PIM as a connected central data hub for product information has many benefits for both for the customer experience and for the way you are working with product information, and it is well worth it to invest in the right setup. For this, you must consider many aspects that was not covered in this video, including how to construct the product model to achieve a scalable setup, both from an organizational as well as a technical perspective, how to manage digital assets, product lifecycle, assortment management, data distribution, bulk updates, etc. InRiver has much information to dive into if you want to learn more, including this page, What is PIM, on inriver.com.